What is up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a Sam Solak inspired cheat day. It is officially the last day of the bulk. So what better way to end up the bulk than with a cheat day? And like I said, all these meals are going to be inspired by Sam Solak's cheat meals. I'll show you guys everything that I take in throughout the day. We're about to hit the gym. So the first meal is about to be our pre-workout meal. We got two different kinds. So we got Buskin donuts, and then we have some Krispy Kreme donuts, and then also a nice little carton of chocolate milk. Now this is a pretty typical bulking meal for Sam. He says that a calorie is a calorie, and he's just gotta get his fuel in somehow. Is it a little excessive? Yes. Am I gonna finish all this? We shall see. But I'm actually really hungry, and I'm really excited to try and down as many as I can as well as as much of this as I can. So the Krispy Kremes are a little bit smaller. They are 200 calories per donut. Buskin donuts are a little bit bigger. They range from about 370 calories to 430 calories. So we'll just average that out to be 400 calories a donut. And then taking the average of both of these, it's about 300 calories per donut, times that by 12, we're already at 3,600 calories in donuts alone. And then you add this to the mix, 80 calories per serving, seven servings. So 560 calories for this guy as well. So we're already over 4,000 calories if we finish all of this. Now I think it's time to dive in. We got the final counts right here. I got four donuts left, two Krispy Kreme and two Buskin. So I ate four and four eight total. Chocolate milk's almost done. I would say it's about to like here, maybe like one third, one fourth left, but I'm stuffed. I can't eat anymore. I also don't want to eat anymore. I don't know how Sam finishes all this stuff, but it's pretty impressive. And the final calories and macros from your number, I guess two now, will be on the screen. And then I will see you guys at the next one. For the third meal of the day, we got a Caniac combo from Raisin Canes. Check it out right here. Six tenders, two pieces of toast, and some fries. They were a little skimpy on the fries, uh, but it's all right. Fries are probably my least favorite aspect of the meal. I haven't had Canes for about three to four years, so I'm actually pretty excited about this one. I am still kind of full from that last meal. It kind of took it out of me. I was pretty tired all morning and early afternoon. I was dealing with some brain fog as well. But we're back for meal number three. I'm gonna try it out real quick. And the cane containers are pretty solid. And the fries aren't anything special. The toast always delivers. I'll definitely down all of this. Calories and macros for this meal will be on the screen. And then I will see you guys at the next one. Next meal, we got two cheeseburgers from Five Guys. And they are looking absolutely delicious. You guys can see this right here. Threw some onions and peppers on there as well. Try it for y'all. 
That's fire. I can't remember the last time I had five guys, but that is actually super fire. I'm gonna down these two burgers. And then the last thing that I'm probably gonna consume tonight is this cookie dough, peanut butter, chocolate chip flavored. And I'll probably just have some, some spoons of that. Now I'm very satisfied with the full cheat day inspired by Sam Sulek. Everything's been delicious and I'm excited to continue eating. I am pretty full. I'm almost probably, I'm probably at like 7,500 calories. Just that's a guess off the top of my head. It's been really good. It's been really fun. So I'm excited to finish all this food up. That just about wraps up this video with the total calories and macros for this Sam Sulek inspired cheat day are gonna be on the screen. And I just wanna reiterate that having a cheat day every once in a while is great, awesome, go for it. But I do not recommend doing this kind of diet lifestyle every single day. I know that Sam Sulek does it pretty often but it's not the best getting all of those extra sugars, fats, oils, and other junk that some of these fast food restaurants or products that you see at the grocery store contain. I've talked about it on this channel before and I'll preach it, but stick to the 80-20 rule. 80% 80 of the foods that you take in are dedicated to your fitness, health, well-being goals. And then the other 20% of the foods that you take in can be kind of those cheat meals, cheat foods, uh, kind of some of the foods that you saw in today's video. And again, I hope you guys enjoyed following along with this video. This officially wraps up the year and a half long bulk. Final weigh in was 209. So just a little short of that 210 mark, but at the end of the day, one pound doesn't really make or break it. That doesn't make a difference. And now the full focus is going to be on that fat loss stage. So I'm planning on doing about three, maybe four months of cutting. I launched quite a few videos um, on the cut and kind of my cutting journey, um, some steps and tools to help you cut as well if you guys are in that stage of your fitness journey. Definitely leave a comment on your favorite meal or any meals that you guys enjoyed seeing in today's video. Like this video if you guys enjoyed watching and smash that subscribe button if you guys have not already. Follow me on Instagram, at Brennan Rott, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.